In this video, I'm going to break down the best 3D scanning app for your iPhone. First, I'll explain how I plan to test the apps in my own personal use case. Second, I'll show the apps in action, how they work, and what to look out for. Lastly, I'll give my recommendation on which apps to use for your next building project or 3D render. Just to let you know, each chapter I go into a lot of detail, so feel free to skip around iPhones have LiDAR scanners now that can scan any place or thing and make a 3D model from it, which could be useful in anything from CGI scenes to planning a whole renovation or even a building project. But as someone who does CGI in production full time, I know that these types of tools don't work very well. At least they haven't in the past, and that's what I'm going to be investigating today. And the results are pretty surprising. So I went on the App Store, and pretty much every app there looked exactly the same. I looked for some recommendations, didn't really find much. So I decided to make a video evaluating all the top apps in the App Store, which ones are free, which cost money, which were the best to use, and also which created the best 3D models to see how accurate they were. It took forever, but hopefully it's helpful for someone. So after you do your scan and export the model, I'll show you how to check those 3D scans to see if they're accurate. I've got all the scans round up here in my 3D program, and I'm just gonna make a simple cube. My program set to inches, so I can make this cube match the measurements I took outside. I took two sets, one from my back center block wall to the step, the other one from step to step in that main landing area. So I'll have two cubes, drop them in with the models, and then see how they compare. So number one, alphabetic order is 3D scanner. Had some pretty cool, nice prompts to help you scan. At first, it's not obvious how you do it, so it's good to have those helpful tips. The map at the bottom is really nice to show you what's left. It's pretty if you look good, it had textures, it shows as export options, but the problem was is you had to pay to use it, and there's so many great free options that it was hard to justify. No model to test. Second is the 3D scanner app. Similar UI, which is great, has that red preview to show you what's scanning, what hasn't. We should have the map, but this one is free to use. The textures are really good, and it's got all the export options you need for free. So this one's excellent. So I've got the 3D scanner app export here with the texture on it. Looks pretty good. I would point out though, it's probably about an inch off on this side with their measurements and maybe about a half inch on this side. I think the texture looks really good. It's in a preview setting here, but if I render it, you'll be able to see that the ground turned out really grungy and cool. There's actually a pretty nice texture over here on the wall with the stucco and the brick out map properly. I think it looks cool, I think it's valuable, so all things considered, I think this one turned out pretty good. Number three, Canvas has all these prompts of the UI, which is really helpful. Seem to make much flatter walls, straighter walls, and this might be due to this UI thing that helps you scan this up and down pattern, which is really nice. It exports an OBJ, but on the free option, there's no textures. Taking a look at the 3D model here, I think the walls turned out pretty straight, so, Measurement wise, it has turned out pretty good. We're not really seeing any of that blue come through on this side and same over here. So measurement wise, I think this is probably our best bet. Uh, unfortunately, the textures didn't come in. It would have been nice to see this all fleshed out, but this also has a paid service. If you want to get some measurements, I think Canvas is actually a really good way, especially if you're willing to pay some money. There are free options, but I think this is pretty cool. Number four is Metascan. This had some really cool extra features you can see right there in the UI. It looks different, it's got that grid which is super cool. It's free to use and it bakes all this texture in which is great, unlike Canvas you actually get that texture for free. And it exports this format that has everything packed in which is really nice. I think out of all of the tests we did, this one put out the highest quality texture. It takes a little while to render but it caught a lot of detailing that's really nice. Also mapped it really well, the wall looks really great, the brick looks really good except for the edge. One knock against it though is it did produce some sort of weird shapes and blobs here. Probably part of the operator error catching some of my legs, but I scanned it the same way as the other ones. The other ones didn't catch any of this, so I'm not sure if you just need to be a little bit more careful. It had some really good results. Also, measurements are extremely close, so Metascan, especially for all being free, I think very good. Just gotta watch out, you don't hit your legs in the process. Next is Modular. Now Modular's got this nice minimalist UI. I'm a sucker for minimalist UI. Uh, it's free to use, which is really cool. It's got some nice quality options, so you can decide how dense you want to scan. 
and you can refine it, which I think helped. It just seemed to make it higher res, higher res texture. Got multiple export formats, which is great. And the model turned out pretty good, so this is a good option. Everything loaded, include the texture. But if you zoom in on the wall here, you'll see the mapping is kind of off and mismatched. And that was a bit disappointing because size-wise, it turned out really well. It was really close with the measurements. Also, it was filled in all the way. There weren't a bunch of little buggy holes like a lot of the other ones did. Uh, so just this texture is the issue. Otherwise, it just turned out really good. For measurements, I'd recommend it. Although for visualization, you're gonna get some mapping issues. Next, it is Opal AI. This was free to use, which is great. It's also got some UI that's really helpful. I like the animation on there and the warnings if you're going too fast, all that was great. This texture gets baked in, which is super helpful if you're doing visualization. You can see it here. It has multiple export formats, which again, is wonderful. But it's also got all of these interesting UI up features, smoothing features. I tried them all out, but it just crashed the app. I think it's great that they're trying different things and doing some of these features. And looking here at the model in 3D, the measurements are pretty close. We're seeing some good stuff. There are a couple of little holes here and there. We got the brick mostly right, but doing that up thing and smoothing just made this a really dense model. I hate to knock on them. I hope they smooth out these features. Maybe they'll be fixed by the time this video comes out, but can't completely recommend them, but I look forward to see them continuing to progress on the product. Polycam. Right up front, it asks you if you want to do a light room or photo, which is interesting. I did the lighter, obviously, for this test. The UI was minimalist. It was nice to use. It seemed like it did a pretty good job. Uh, it adds a texture to it. There's a subscription service that says it unlocks features, but you're able to export a pretty good model with a texture for free, so it was definitely worth using. Model that I was able to import. It's got textures on it that look pretty good. Something that stands out is it's lower poly. Uh, meaning it's a less dense model, which gives you some rounding, less detail. But it's also good if that detail isn't doing much, if it's just a straight wall or something. So I'm not sure if the paid, it says the world's best. I mean, I'm not sure if when you pay for it, it unlocks some super incredible scanning. But I do see some promising results. These walls are very straight. Um, you see this vent thing here turned out really good. Maybe there's something to it. I'm just doing free ones here, but I see some promise and it could turn out to be more. Next is Scanniverse. I like that it has some size settings so you could dial in how you want to use it. Maybe I didn't get the best use out of it. Seems like there's some extra options. Free to use, it adds the texture, gives you the export options you need. The model looks pretty good in here. Uh, the measurements are pretty good, but something that kind of cracked me up that I thought was interesting is it added all this additional texture into what should otherwise be a straight wall this sort of like weird organic amorphous uh whenever this is so definitely not what i was trying to get but it could be interesting to see someone purposely try to create this stuff and make some sort of weird slimy wall or um, add some additional detail to stuff maybe this is good for organic things like rocks and things that have shape to it but for my use case definitely not what i was looking for so Sitescape, this one was highly recommended, had great reviews, but it does point cloud data, which is different than a 3D model, and it's hard to import it into many projects. Although this is free to use, and the point cloud data is very detailed, which is very nice, but you can export it and you can use it on most apps. So my winners are the 3D scanner app, Canvas and Metascan. 3D Scanner app I think was the best overall, gave a great texture, gave a really good model. Canvas was very good for having straight, flat walls, as close as you can get for a lighter app as far as I can find. And then Metascan for having a very high res, very detailed texture. So depending on what you're using it for, those would be my three options. If you just want something that looks beautiful that maybe you can use in a 3D program, Metascan is probably the way to go. If you don't care how it looks and you just want to double check a measurement on the job site, I think Canvas is very good. And if you want sort of the best of both worlds, I think 3D Scanner app is the best. All right, thanks for watching. I appreciate it if you made it this far. And I'm gonna be putting out some more videos. That structure I'm building is gonna be an outdoor sauna with a shower attached to it. I've already modeled it all out in 3D. I'm gonna make a video where I can show you how to place every two x four, every piece of plywood, 
get all your measurements before you start, and then I'm gonna be building it and putting out videos as I go. I have a full-time job, I'm super busy, so I don't know how quickly they'll come out, but I really appreciate it if you follow along.